So I managed to correct my problem with my windows. I had transposed the two values, the 12 foot and the 4 foot 6 for the width. So I've corrected that. And I've also changed the levels. So if we go to the view range, I've got this set for 13 foot 6 and then the clipping plane, just so the windows are showing up in that level 1 section. We can go back later and change that. And now we're ready to place a window. For some reason, I've still got this going to um, 4 foot 6. So I'm just going to put 12 in here. And we're ready to set our first window. And I want to set it in the center. Make sure it's facing in the right direction. And then we're just going to continue to place these 5 foot on center. Oops. I'll have to go back and correct that to 5. And we'll just use the copy command. Oops. I'll grab this one and just copy it down. And we'll be able to mirror these over. So I'm going to set some more windows now on the front face here. Once again, try to get that right in the center. And put another one next to it. And we'll probably just put these a little bit tighter. This is just to give you an idea of, uh, for just to set up a model so that we're able to do some evaluations here. We'll need a back window here. And we'll try to get this right in the center and set these off at five feet. Pesky little thing. Well, I'll place it and then I'll move it. And then I'll just use the mirror command for this. I'll mirror those over to the other side. I'll grab all of these and mirror them over. And we need these front windows and we'll mirror them over. And we'll take a look at what we've got here. All right, so there's our little um, visitor center. Let's give it a rendering and I'm gonna add um, some textures to it. So I'm just going to set some display options here quickly. And you could actually fast forward through this. And I'm going to add a texture to the wall and a uh, roof system. So let's see here. I got to add some, maybe adjust some lighting a little bit. Bring up some ambient light. And give it a sky background. Okay, so um, the thing I wanted to do is add a texture to this and change this. I'll change these to white. I'm going to go to Edit Type and um, just add a white texture to the roof. And my texture palette's over here on the other side. I have cladding and white that I've created. And we've got our walls now. So I'll just grab one of the walls and I'll go Edit Type. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that and go um, restroom siding. And I've gone ahead and found something, a uh, black siding. You could use it if you want. Um, I'll add another layer up here, just a one inch, a one inch layer, but I won't change the default thickness. So I'll change this to seven. And we'll give this a new texture and a completely new texture. So I'll create a new material and call it um, black siding. And we'll grab a, a texture. And I've got a texture out here, uh, black siding. I, actually, I won't even put that on because I want you to find your own, make your own uh, unique finish. You know, just as far as technique goes, so make sure you make that um, texture large enough so that it's um, bold enough and at the right scale. So I'll change that to 15 feet. And then I'll just grab all of the other walls in here. And we'll change those to that um, restroom siding.
And then the uh, one other thing, and that's a little not really well lit, so let's see if we can fix that lighting problem there. Let's try to bring up the ambient. It looks like there's extra lights hitting it, so I'm going to go to turn off the ambient shadows. No, that's not helping much. Anyway, good enough for our project. The only other thing I would suggest is I didn't like the yellow windows, so I went ahead and changed the sash material to that white. Which I've managed to lose here. Cladding white. Okay, so that's that's a building. Your building could look, you know, I, I, I want it to be 30 feet by 50 feet. The idea is that we have these clear story pieces of glazing and a large centerpiece, and uh, that'll get us set up for when we start building our model.